and gang i have oh yeah what am i doing i gotta show you guys this i can't light this up yet because as you know check this out epicure number two this is a fine cigar this is a fine cigar look at this let me see if i can get a focus let's see if we can get it focused where are we at where are we at hoyo de mantre epicure number two Cubano, Cubano, should be delicious. But check this out, gang. So, Abba was great. Abba was an awesome band. Money, money, money must be funny in the rich man's world. Ah, ah, oh. Check this out. As you know, this is my lighter. There's some kind of. Uh, something loose in here where the gas is not staying in i figured that much where it's not lighting right now i'm going to give you the history of this lighter for a second speedy gonzalez style working at a cuban cigar store in 2000 2001 year and a half i was there okay uh one of the co-workers there had one of these lighters and it was amazing and at that cuban cigar store we we're serving high-end clientele i was working there a day and a half a week because i wanted to be around cigars especially cuban cigars and cigar lounges right lighter history <laughs> check this out so i was there for a year and a half and then the place got bought out and when a new company comes in they usually get rid of all the employees and stuff like that so they did a restructuring now there was a guy that we work with co-worker awesome guy it was a great community by the way we built up a nice little community we'd go out for dinners go parties go to concerts and uh, we weren't all like none of those people are my they're still my friends but i don't i haven't seen them for years right so it was a little circle for a certain amount of time we were hung up right and played dominoes played backgammon puff puff bat bat whatever right at the time, no bad, bad, but puff, puff. And the guy that had this lighter, right, he was from Hong Kong, China, right? And he was going back. He was here uh, doing schooling, stuff like this, and he was going back. And this lighter he gave to me, not this one, but one like it, right? This was in 2000, 2001, right? He said, Chicho, you love this lighter? Here. Uh, it was awesome working with you and stuff like this. So D... Uh, thank you for introduction to this lighter. Salute to you, D. Okay. Yeah, he was from Hong Kong. He was one of those uh, uh, Asian Hong Kong that came here, private school, loaded up. At the time, I think he had an M5, BMW M5, so he was flying out. We're having a great time. We're having a great time, right? And um, so he passed it on to me. Now, you have to appreciate how important this lighter is, okay? worked in a high-end cuban cigar store and there was a lot of people that came in with then you want to light your cigars with torch lighters right and people <laughs> like, would come in and they had bought high-end torch lighters like we're talking davidoff torch lighters and stuff 300 dollars, 350 dollars, 250 dollars, at least 200 dollars torch lighters that would go kaput within a year they were garbage right and this lighter amazing i used the one that he gave me uh the elder guy remember i grew up in hong kong 78 to 88 yeah 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 he would have he would have probably been around uh when you were in hong kong as well possibly right so oh no 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 he uh was he born then i, I don't know i don't know I'll, I'll have to do the mathematics right uh so People would come in with these crappy lighters, crappy lighters that they paid a ton for. And they would go, okay, look, do you guys have any lighters? And we had lighters that were all shit. Like, people were just paying for a name brand, right? So I ended up using the lighter that he gave me constantly, constantly for uh, Zippos for the win. Z see, the kicker with Zippos is liquid. You don't want to be lighting cigars with Zippo lighters because you'll get the the butane the the fuel into the cigar it changes a cigar you want a torch lighter for lighting cigars really or cedar wood right you don't even light it with with the paper matches right or regular lighters right 
So my lighter went bonkers with this last stream. So I had to get, get I'm building up to a lighter haul, cigar, <laughs> cigar buy, right? So I used the lighter he gave me for, I don't know how many years, like four years or something. I'm, I'm telling you like hardcore. I was smoking hardcore cigars at the time. I was <laughs> uh, cannabis lifestyle. Uh, park fan thank you very much for the follow salute salute right I was cannabis culture I've been cannabis culture a long time right we're talking uh, puff puff I used it religiously there wasn't a day where I didn't use this later the one that he gave me right multiple times use it for three four years it started crapping out a little bit so I looked to see where I could get this brand of lighter and i realized once i started looking to buy it right that you couldn't buy it regular person couldn't buy it it had it was an industrial tool that you have to have a business or a license for to get so i looked everywhere i sent companies messages and stuff like this to buy it and they wouldn't sell it to me right so back in early mid 2000s Right, <laughs> the lighter Chicho's this is Sonic screwdriver. All the God says Chicho. All the If he was in um, education, two thousand one, he was about <laughs> ten years younger than me. <laughs> he would. Where would he be? Uh, yeah, probably that. Yeah, yeah, probably that age. Uh, he's probably early forties. Early forties now, most likely. I'm guessing or late thirties, right? Uh, no, early forties. He would be early forties, mid forties, maybe, right? And I looked, I messaged companies, people, eBay, no one would sell it to me. So I finally contacted a friend I had, Lark Park, how you doing? Hey, hey, you all, and holy shit, what's up, dude? I've told the story about it later. So I um, contacted a friend in California. They had an auto records. I found a place that had these lighters. At the time, mid-2000s, they were like 36. No, how much were they? They were around either 30 or 40 dollars right 30 or 40 dollars let's say 35 dollars right so i contacted my friend and say hey listen these guys have these lighters buy it for me i, I sent them the money and the money that it was going to take for him to ship it to me in canada so i had to go through a friend that had an auto wrecker in california to be able to buy these lighters and send them to me in Vancouver in the mid 2000s right so I ended up getting four packages and I gave away two of them as presents and this is the last of the two that I have right so mid 2000s let's say 2005 maybe even earlier 2004 2005 let's say right so 18 years I went through two of these lighters and as a chronic cannabis culture heavy usage heavy usage heavy 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 usage so two lighters in let's say 20 years each lighter lasted me 10 years right so when this thing went bonkers last time we did a patio stream I was like okay I need to get another one so I looked on eBay there isn't one on eBay there is one person that was selling it it wasn't gonna come here right and I forget what the price was I found one person in Canada that was selling it and it cost hundred and sixty dollars right I was like hell no right November November how are you doing thank you very much for the follow right so hundred and sixty dollars hundred and sixty five in Canada wasn't happening checked a few websites everybody sold out I found one place in the US that was selling it and I bought two I already cracked it open just to make sure it was the same it was it was these guys right so I ended up pulling the trigger on these everybody else was selling them for around I don't know anywhere between 50 cheapest you could find it 60 to 120 dollars or something like this and these guys had four in stock right I should have pulled the trigger for all four I didn't want to pay duties on it coming over but I ended up paying duties because I went over anyway j pal how are you doing so i pulled the trigger on this they were selling them for 36 bucks a pop okay 36 dollars each on sale for 45.
This is industrial heat tool. You still can't buy it in Canada if you don't have a license. I can't find it. Right? Most people have sold out. Made in Japan. It was $36 on sale. It came up to $72 for both of them. Shipping was $45 because it came through FedEx. Ended up costing an extra 10 through FedEx charges plus duty, another 20 bucks. So give me the lowdown on this. And we're gonna fill it up full of butane and light it up, right? We're gonna break this in. Hopefully it works fine, right? So basically 72 plus 50, let's say 70 plus 50 plus another 20. So 70, 140 bucks, $70 a pop US each. Uh, so double the price, fantastic. I'm just crazy happy to get these. I got butane here. We're gonna open this baby up and we're gonna put butane in it, light our cigars. That's my long winded story for this thing. And it's got a little stand on it too. Hold on, the stand fell over there. Check this out. It's got a little stand because the lighter has a lock on it. When you turn it on, you can make it sit there with the lighter, just the torch just going. You're actually able to use these as solder for soldering that's how hot they are. they burn okay this is not financial advice <laughs> actually this is financial advice a lighter you spent seventy dollars for torch lighter that supposedly the best lighter would cost you three hundred dollars right and this is seventy dollars us so 100 bucks canadian right last you 10 years on average for me so far right <laughs> but it's great when there are still quality products yeah yeah made in japan right well we haven't tested this one out yet but it's the same one check this out check this out it's got a little danger warning here what does the danger warning say danger extremely <laughs> flammable contains butane gas warning contents under pressure do not puncture or incinerate container do not expose to heat or store at temperatures above 120 degrees fahrenheit i bought this from the states by the way keep out of reach of children blah 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 right let's fill it up with butane okay and see where it takes us and light up our cigars and i like it because you can see the butane coming up right so let's check it out Boop. we got butane right let's check it out let's check it out one click you won't be able to see it this thing will burn through anything. There's a blue flame there. Okay. Right. I need to puncture this. We're gonna light up our cigar. <laughs> Fucking A. I'm ecstatic about this, right? Stove lighters are uh, also a good way. As long as it's torch, you want it to be torch. Okay. You want it to be, and this thing, you could light a cigar in a hurricane with this. <laughs> and I have. <laughs> Fucking love this thing so i should have pulled it they, they had four in stock i bought two of them and i went back to click on to buy one more and it wouldn't let me because i already put two i had in queue their their website was shit, right so i just decided just to go with the two i should have bought all four right off the bat
Nice little cut. It's not much, it's a little cut. Right? Nice. is good. Life is good. <laughs>